Virgos. Hey, my love bees. I said Virgos. Hey, my, hey, my, hey, my Virgos. Hey, my loves. Hey, hey, my loves. Hey, hey, my loves. Sing it with me one time. Sing. Hey, my loves. Hey, my loves. Hey, my soul tribes, my family, my love, love, loveies. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing good, Virgo. Sending you love, light and positive energy as always. You already know the vibes. I'm here to shine some light on your path, my loveies. I hope you're having an amazing day operating at your highest frequency. Let's get into this message that I have for you and see what enemy we can knock out today. Let's 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 go. All right, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling froggy. Let's 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 jump, Virgo. Let's jump. All right, let's show them we're not playing, okay? Let's see what's going on here. So, I have more than one channel message for you. We're just going to dive in right here. Um, this is our spiritual awakening deck. Um, a main message that I'm told to tell you is, it's a need for you to protect your peace. Protect your peace. It's something going on where it's weighing on you. And it's weighing on you heavy. For a lot of you guys, you're very resilient. So you wear the weight well. So a lot of you guys, and I don't want to say suffering in silence because I don't feel a lot of suffering, but I feel a lot of analyzing going on. I feel a lot of you processing certain situations and there is a need for you to protect your peace. And how do you do that? Sometimes there's a need for you to just pull back your energy just a bit, y'all. Like, because I'm really feeling like it's a need for you to, for me to tell you that you're working really hard. All right. And a lot of you guys are working really hard in, in real life, like at your job, like in your life, building brick by brick. You're working hard. And then some of you guys are working really hard on yourself. Some of you guys are doing it all. You got the family, you got you, you got work and you're just going. Um, And all of this chaos, all of this chaos that's going on around you can really drain you right and it really causes you to be frustrated sometimes and stagnant maybe tired and lazy because you're getting wore out by over extending yourself over exerting yourself so this hinders you all right in a big way and you might not recognize it because you're so busy doing 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 you're very much a doer virgos are okay but there's a need for you to protect your peace and especially when it comes to these people that don't deserve your time, effort, or energy. All right? And for a lot of you guys who have these people that are just going against you for no reason, God doesn't want you to deplete yourself to the point where you're turning into the very thing that you despise. So basically, the message was protect your peace. Don't let the evil inside others kill the love and the life inside of you. I know, y'all. This is what I got. So this is what we're going with it, okay? This is where we're going with it. I told you it was a shift in my energy. And I'm giving all these different messages now. Like I'm getting more. Um, and they're getting more healing. Like it's more healing. More seeds planted of acceleration and time to take action. Um, because Spirit is really trying to give you energy and messages and guidance that protects you now. Right? If a lot of our messages before were about clarity about your situation and about the people around. Now it's more about you. Did you notice that? It's more about you. So let's go ahead and get into it, okay? So hi to all my new subscribers and family members. I love you guys so, so much. If you didn't get your response on that video two days ago where I said I was going to touch and agree with you, I am going to touch and agree with you. Just give me some time, okay, guys? Because... I keep trying to squeeze it in while I'm doing everything else, and I just keep stopping. So give me some time. I got you, okay? Y'all know, anybody that's been rocking with me, you know I love y'all. I used to talk to every single person in the comments, but now we got such a big family, and it's growing, and it takes me a little more time. So be patient, all right? But still, put your comments down there. I read them. I do skim through them, and I read them, okay? I might not be able to touch everyone because I don't like showing one love and not others and y'all will notice that okay so i'll read it and when i'm ready to be able to tap everybody's and say something i will right so law of eternally this card y'all says live like you're dying i know it says that and you know what spirit is trying to get you to do push you into taking taking risk and these are healthy risks like doing 
not even risk, but taking a chance. Stepping out of your comfort zone, doing things that you always wanted to do. Usually when somebody feels like they about to pass, what do they start doing? They pull out that list and they call it a bucket list. And on this bucket list, you got all these things that you always wanted to do. And I don't know why in the heck people wait until they almost dust and bones to pull out this list. But they got this list, right? So spirit wants you to start making a list now and start doing things that really make you happy. A lot of people get caught up so much in the past, so much in what's to come, when really now is your future. Now, what everything you do now is what you're doing to build your future. And people just miss that part. It's everything you're doing right now. And as much as we like to just put ourselves in a condition to wait for this and wait for that and wait for that, that's really taking so much time away from the things that you really, really need to be doing for yourself, right? So Spirit wants you to spend some more time doing the things you love. Be more um, intentional when it comes to you, right? We're going to find out why this is coming out because it's some, some energies around you that's requiring a lot of you, a lot of your attention, a lot of your energy is being given away. And Spirit wants you to pull back and put some into you. Protect your peace. Because if you don't protect your peace and you give your energy in doses, all of a sudden, before you know it, you're going to have a meltdown. You're going to be zapping out on everybody, telling everybody off, slamming doors. Some of y'all going to be throwing stuff, ready to choke somebody. Look, we don't need you like that. You've been doing too much work, all right? I call it starting over with God. I'll be like, I'm not about to start from scratch with God for nobody because we getting somewhere. All right, I don't know about them, but my work is working, okay? It's working over here. Life is life in. Blessings is blessing. Like, I, I'm not starting from scratch. We know what scratch feel like. How many of y'all seen that Martin show where he had to get in the line and start from scratch? Now, I might sound like a dinosaur, but I mean, come on. Y'all had to see Martin. But anyway, <laughs> nobody don't want to start from scratch. That's the back of the line, okay? No, we're not going back there. All right, so Spirit says before you have any episodes like that, Spend some more time on you, protect your peace, give your energy in doses, and be mindful of who you're spending your time and energy with. That's just what I got. Now, the law of secondary causation, causation, anyway, it means stop reacting and start being the person you've always desired to be. See what I mean? The universe, the star, it's like the stars are aligning for you to do these things. And the universe is going to be backing you up more than you expect, more than you think. So you're being cautioned to start doing these things now. It's a reason why you're being pushed to live now, do things now. You never know what might be coming towards you in the future where maybe you're too overwhelmed where you can't do everything. And right now you're in a position where you can. So start doing the things that you really, really always wanted to do. Okay, start now. Be the person who you've always wanted to be. Some of y'all, look at this person. Some of y'all want to travel. Some of y'all want to always wanted to go back to school and work in a corporate office. Maybe be your own boss. Um, somebody wants to have a multi-million dollar company. Somebody has a dream to be a performer. All right. Some of you guys want to be an artist, um, a, a designer. Somebody wants to be a web designer. Somebody wants to do weddings. Somebody wants to do makeup. Like I see all these things. Somebody wants to work on their body. Somebody even thinking about being some type of, what is this? A fitness trainer or a therapist. And somebody does want to be a therapist, but I was thinking about physical training, like physical therapy, sports medicine or something like that. But somebody's even thinking about being a therapist. Like I see all these things that you guys want to do. And right now it's just a thought. Some of y'all have been working on it because as you evolve, you know, you can do whatever you set your mind to. Now you walk into your Virgo energy. So you're the magician. You make things happen left and right. Make it people disappear up here disappear some of y'all don't reappear y'all need to stop that reappear mess i hope you reappear while on break because you you that's that's holding you back <laughs> no more reappear okay no like <laughs> all right i don't hope you reappear while on break i hope it just malfunction until you get where you need to go and then you're not gonna want to use it anymore you probably bury it <laughs> The law of rhythm. The universe is guiding you. Go with the flow. 
All right. See what I mean? The stars are aligning for you. The universe is guiding you into the direction that you belong in. Some of you guys had a pause. And this pause was a time of reflection. It wasn't you being forsaken or left behind. Don't ever think that. All right. Do you know your thoughts even have power? Not as strong as your words, but they do. Actually, it is stronger. I mean, as strong as your words, your thoughts. But it operates differently. Think about that. Because what you think is going to affect you eternally, internally. And what you speak out is going to affect you physically. So think about that. Think about that. Yeah. So this is what I'm getting for you. So now let's go a little bit deeper and see exactly why these cards are here. Let's pull a couple, um, a couple of these cards to find out exactly what this is about. All right. Um, some of you, we don't got to go through it. Y'all know y'all got these relationships that stay in this sale and, and stuttering. <laughs> the relationship stuttered. Like, y'all know what to do. It's just like, I, I just can't understand. Slow it down. Like, <laughs> And shout out to anybody that's stuttering. Look, I ain't laughing at you because my son used to stutter. He grew out of it, but he sure used to be like, mommy. I used to be like, yes, baby, slow down. Okay, period. And it, and it went away. All it takes is a prayer and some effort. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but this relationship, yeah, some of these relationships, they on a half, okay? Yes, they on a half. So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, thank you so much. We appreciate your energy, your divine love and light. Thank you so, so much, Holy Spirit, for using me as a vessel of love and light and positive energy and guidance for the Virgo, someone rising Venus and North Node, and all who are drawn to watch my videos. We appreciate you blocking and binding all negative spirits, entities, energies, witchcraft, wickedness be bonded, and curses be broken. We thank you for blinding and blocking all monitoring spirits, familiar and unfamiliar spirits, away from our past and off of our um out of our lives and away from this channel. We thank you for giving us victory in every situation we may face. Letting every tongue rising up against us in judgment be condemned. Thank you for giving us abundance and overflow and healing in our hearts, our minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Amen, amen, and amen. Yeah, y'all know y'all need that prayer, baby. You need it, okay? You might not know it, but you need it. Just listen to it, okay? You need it every day. All right, some of y'all probably know it by heart. I say the almost the same exact thing every day on purpose. So y'all will always have a prayer in your heart. Some of you, some people, you'd be surprised. They don't have no prayers. That's your fighting. You need some prayers, okay? You need a couple prayers, learn a couple psalms. I don't care what nobody say. Trust me on that, okay? Trust me on that. You need it. Learn something, okay? <laughs> you can't just say amen. No, you need a little bit more than that. Okay, and you can't be like, God is grace, God is good. Okay, he is, but you need a little bit more than that, okay? Out here in this spiritual warfare world, child, please. Better learn, learn some psalms. Start with Psalm 23. Huh? Work your way through and pick the ones that's calling you. Mm-hmm. Thank me later. <laughs> Y'all probably like, she is something else, okay? <laughs> she is something else. Look, I'm just a messenger. I'm doing what I'm I'm told to do. Okay. I'm just trying to help. Heal. Elevate. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. And remind you, all right, of your own very own power that you just have you can use it at any time you get ready. Okay. I gotta remind you. All right, y'all. So we got partnership here, just like I thought. It's about these partnerships and it doesn't always have to be romantic. It could be love, work, life, but a significant relationship is about to is about to be forged that will assist you in expanding your growth. Calibration, support and union. And we got this card again. Some of you guys are meeting people, people that's pushing you out of your comfort zone. You might have somebody that's your polar opposite. So now you're moved to show your magic. You're moved to help enlighten this person and show this person and get this person to come out of their shell. Usually it's you. But maybe it's something like different, like it's feeling like opposite day. Now you got to come out of your shell and help this person come out of theirs. It's something that's going to happen to create some type of elevation in your life. Even if it's something where you have to finally get up, speak your mind, speak your peace and let bygones be bygones. You don't have to leave hating nobody. Why people think that? You can save your matches for some candles and, and during your relaxation time. You ain't got to set nobody on fire. You ain't got to do that. You do not have to leave in a hell rage fury 
after every disagreement or argument. Somebody don't like you, so what? Somebody don't want you, so what? It's their loss. And the minute you realize that it's them that's missing out, not you, that's the minute that you show growth to the universe, a new door open, this one closed, and all of a sudden you see things differently. Why? Because you stepped into your power. You became, you became the victor instead of the victim. Oh, I need to write that down. You became the victor instead of the victim. Easy. Right? Somebody said, I know that's right. Who said, I know that's right? That's so old. <laughs> that's all right, baby. I'm with you. I know exactly what it means. I know that's right. Okay. <laughs> but really, you, you became the victor instead of the victim. As soon as you change the way you look at your situation. Oh no, y'all, I'm writing that down because I'm like, I put that in our title. Look, I prayed for God to give me some better titles for y'all. Look, I sure did and it's working. So anyway, <laughs> that's what's happening though. Um, I feel like you're stepping out of your comfort zone. You really are because a lot of you guys are tired of sacrificing yourself for these people that don't care. You ever seen one of these people, you talking to them until you blew in the face? I mean, and then you see them, they about to fall asleep. They, you don't know if they understood you, heard you. I mean, they might as well have been asleep because then they show you that they ain't listening to nothing you said. And then later on down the line, when things pop off, then they want to come back talking about, you were so right. Oh my God. Or telling their friends you was right. Or telling your friends so they could tell you you was right. Stuff like that. It's just so simple. And spirit is just trying to uh, alleviate all that. Just alleviate all that, okay? Learn your lessons when you get them so you can move through this stuff, right? But a, a, but a partnership is going to be significant in your life that causes you to move out of your comfort zone. It's going to open your eyes to something and make you do something differently. This is going to either lead to true love, lead to a free slot for you to open up and bring somebody else in. And it's also probably for a lot of you going to bring you to this epiphany moment where you really see things for what they are because you stood, you stood firm. Not only that, you stepped into your power. You took your power back. Like, excuse me, I don't know what made me put all the power in your hand and I got to wait for you to make a decision for me and you. No, 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 no. I make the decisions for me, right? Somebody snapped out of it. And this is going to snap you out of it. So something significant is going to happen. And spirit wants you to live like you're dying. Live like it's your last days. Live like, live like you have only a limited amount of time to do everything you want to do. This will put some fire under your belt and make you really move and, and get things done. And you'll be surprised when by the time you look back, you've accomplished so many goals. You, you'll realize that you're just setting new goals as you go along because you're killing it out here. Like you're doing it so fast, right? Some of you guys miss being in that energy and it's these distractions and these people that's holding you back from doing that. <clears throat> I know y'all. Spirit said, channel your inner warrior. Here we go with the warrior card again. Channel your inner warrior. Because truth be told, you're superior to this energy. You're superior to this energy. It's right here. It says, stop, stop reacting. Stop letting people knock you off your game. Stop letting people get in your head to the point where you're giving them your energy because any other time you wouldn't care. Why? Because you're smarter than that. You already know what you know. So why would you argue with them about something that you know is facts? Facts. I'm going to be good either way. Facts. God ain't going to give me nothing that's not for me. Facts. Anything that's for me will stay with me, find me, work with me and all that good stuff because we will be in one accord. We do this with each other. And anything that's outside of that is foreign to me. Facts. You see what I'm saying? You start really walking in your power and knowing things. And then it knocks it knocks these distractions and disturbances right out of the way. Right? Your angels have no choice. And your spirit guides have no choice but to follow up. Next thing you know, you walking through, knocking stuff over. They walking behind you, sweeping it up. Okay? Clean path. This simple as that. You see what I'm saying? Y'all see what I'm saying. But anyway, superior is here. It says, become a leader in the situation. Speak and act with authority. Set your boundaries and know your limits, period. Boss, leadership, authority. Walk in it. You know you're a born leader. People know that about you. That's why people so adamant and how meant to knock you off your game and confuse you, trying to intimidate you. I mean, I be laughing at people that try to intimidate me because you just make yourself look like a plum fool. First of all, it ain't going to work. You might make me take a step back and reassess the situation, but don't think for a second that's a win, baby. No, that means you're in trouble. 
Because when I come back, I'm coming back for vengeance. I'm coming back wiser. I'm coming back stronger with the whole armor of God ready to knock some demons out. So you, you see me go silent, you should get worried. And I know I'm not the only Virgo that feel that way. <laughs> That's how it is with us. <laughs> Baby, when I'm gone, if I'm quiet, oh, pfft. That's when you need to start counting your days because <laughs> it's, it's not going to be cute when I start talking and when I come back and I might move in silence however I move. Oh, it's going to be weight laying it down, right? Right, Virgos? That's how we move. That's how it is. But let's keep going. And this and that was clarifying. Stop reacting and be, and be the person that you always desire to be. A leader, the boss of your energy, of your life. Not always submitting, but still yet submissive. Not always passive, but still yet kind and loving. You know what I'm saying? Not always overpowering, but still very much in control. It's a balance to it. It's a balance to it. And this is what spirit is teaching you through these situations. So don't think for a second that God don't love you. God forgot about you or anything like that. And also don't blame your, all of your mistakes and trials and tribulations on God. Because sometimes your free will, just like Adam and Eve, look, I'm just saying with the apple and stuff. Okay. Y'all, if y'all know the book of life, you know that story. It's the first one. You can at least read that. One. But with that, with that, I'm going on what I was saying free will right it's your choice and the consequence is going to be just that and if you accept it before you know what it is that's on who not on them it's on you and the minute you start seeing things like that guess what it don't make you weak it make you wise it make you win right and it makes you more aware of the choices that you're making and this is called our uh, elevation this is called your spiritual awakening when you start being awakened to the truth again because for for a while sometimes we're clouded with lies because we're living on somebody else's path now we letting people come in our life speaking into us we doing what they like to do and we like it too but that's not what we was doing before we met them you know what i'm saying those type of things it's time to be awakened. It's time for an ascension. Ascension. Going to the next level. The universe is guiding you. Go with the flow. Clarify by ascension. All right. You're shifting from one reality to a higher vibrational reality. Time to soar to new heights. Thriving. Increase and take off. Baby, I like everything about it. I like all those words. I like thriving. Thriving because we stay, look, we stay hungry, never thirsty. We stay hungry. We stay hungry. Always thinking of a new idea to be, do, and have more. Right? Increase. Oh, we love an increase. Increase in health. Increase in wealth. Increase, <laughs> increase in options. Like, look, we love an increase. Look, even increase in our clothes. <laughs> we, love a, look, we love a good increase. Like, what's going on? What's happening? Look, thank you. Let's thank them in advance. Drop those purple hearts and thank God in advance for what's happening. Because it's happening for you. And you got to go through all these trials and tribulations. It's not by mistake. And you got to learn consequences for your, for your actions. Otherwise, you're going to just keep using your free will and abusing it and just doing whatever. But it's not that type of party. And a lot of us have experienced enough to know that now. We see that now. That's why. And y'all need to stop. Look. With these third-party situations and stuff like that, stop, stop, stop doing that and then looking and saying, well, where's my person? Um, Block behind door number 18 that you got all the way back there because you putting Tom, Dick, and Harriet in front of your real person that's waiting for you, trying to get to you, but you're always blocked with somebody else's situation, story, energy, problems. You know what I'm saying? As much as I be wanting to tell y'all, oh my God, your person is here. I, I see this. Here, look. Look at this. But no, the person be always somewhere else while you here with somebody else's person. Being a third party, playing yourself short because it's comfortable. Because you know what to expect. Because you're afraid, thinking you might get hurt again. Not really knowing how to move because you don't see everything. And it's not meant for you to see everything. But guess what? You're already naturally wise. You're already naturally intuitive. So, you know, you could use that at any time you get ready and it'll take you somewhere. Your dad gonna show up with and be lowering your standards to a third party. 
Think about that. Now, you know I love you. Think about that, though. Just think about that. It's time for you to go where the universe is guiding you. It's no mistake that you're hearing this today, right? Pass it on to somebody who you know need it. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribe so we can keep our videos going, right? Because people need this. Mm-hmm. That'll be a million dollars. Look, that's how much they pay a therapist a year to, to do this. <laughs> ah, no, it's free. Free with love, okay? Let's see. Let's go ahead and go a little bit deeper. Let's see what I want to talk to you about. Let's see. Somebody said, let's go. And for me, take the brakes off. Let's go. Somebody said, I'm ready for the steak and potatoes. I don't eat steak no more, but... And I'm staying away from the potatoes. Mm. Girl, I can look at a potato and gain two pounds. I'm not playing with this world, okay? I'm not playing with gravity. I'm not playing with none of it, all right? I'm working hard to stay thick and fine, okay? <laughs> Trust me. I'm working hard, y'all. There's so many things I be wanting to eat and do, child. Mm -mm. No, thank you, baby. I need to stay fine, okay? I'm aging like some fine wine, okay? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and tell them thank you, Lord, if you're aging like some fine wine, baby. If you're looking good, okay? Guess that age, okay? Shout out to the ageless angels out here. All right, y'all, so let's see. Holy Spirit, holy angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, show me clearly. I miss y'all, too. Oh, I miss you, too. A lot. I miss y'all a lot. But I got to pace myself. I'm doing a couple more things now throughout the day. So God got me at a place where I think he's conditioning me to do my readings like this. So I'll be able to do everything. And you know, see how God works in your favor when you don't really have to ask for it. But he know what you need and he sees your efforts. So he meets you halfway. That's exactly what's happening. And it happens for y'all too. Look, rejoice and celebrate. It's some good news coming. Y'all, who is it that's waiting for, um, waiting for, a c congratulations on your baby, baby. Somebody's going to find out that they pregnant. Some of y'all already found out, but somebody's going to find out that they pregnant. Go take a pregnancy test. Tell me in the comments. Let me know, because somebody pregnant. And somebody been waiting for a job, and you've been working really hard trying to wait for a job, and you've been putting work in, you've been trying to apply, and you were wondering why I was still it's because God was trying to bring you the right job. It needs to be enough money, the right people around you, so you can stay. And there'll be some longevity there. So get ready. You're going to get a call, okay? <clears throat> Look at this. It came out again. Fulfillment of wishes. Because you're, you're in a place where... See, I told y'all, I feel a lot of analyzing around you. And I feel like you're in a place of acceptance in your life. Because now y'all starting to accept the things that you can't change a lot more. This was not your energy two years ago. Y'all were trying to change everything. A lot of y'all were trying to force somebody to be with you that, that is no good for you. This person couldn't drag you no further. And you wiping off the dust off your knees and everything, getting back up and going right back in the same direction. And God was like, I need some help here. <laughs> I need some help here. My child is in distress, okay? But a lot of you guys, y'all, the energy is so much better. It's so so much cleaner it's so much clearer like you guys are really really working hard and for my newbies y'all just hang in there you're gonna get it talk in the comments let your fellow virgos that's been healing talk to you okay a lot of y'all don't even know what you're going through it's a spiritual awakening baby and it's painful at first but you're gonna make it through things gonna get easier you're gonna get more clarity you got this okay god led you here because it's some more that you need to learn about your spiritual aspects. It's some more that you need to learn about how intuitive you are so you can see through some of these situations, okay? All right. I love you. You got it. Trust me. Okay? All right, y'all. Let's go through these cards and see what Spirit wants to tell you because fulfillment of wishes in here and celebration is here. All you have to do is stand your ground, especially when it comes to this deception and envy around you. Now, you know you got the haters and you got to let them be your motivators. They all around. They all around. Like, you ever seen how gnats come out in the springtime? Baby, they all around. You you can't get away from them. You just going to have to learn how to be strong, outsmart them, and do your thing. They always going to be watching, lurking, hating, and copying. It's not going to ever go away. Especially if you decide to be on YouTube and get a YouTube platform. Baby, you might as well learn how to just be yourself and rock with that. Sometimes you go slow, sometimes you go fast, but if you ride the ride the wave and it's meant for you, then God gonna do the rest. That's my advice. 
because <clears throat> some of you guys are meant to be guides you know you are but it's a need for you to stand your ground here and it's a need for you to pull back your energy because like i said one thing god don't want you to do is turn into the very thing that that you despise with this deception and envy and the people around you that are being envious and deceptive to you god says don't let them dim your light don't let them drain the life out of you don't let that happen stand your ground be the boss that you know you are for these situations that you know you need to walk away from live your life like it's your last that's what god is saying here live your life like it's your last do the things you know you need to do if you were on your dying bed if you were on your deathbed and you about to take your um not even take your last breaths but say you only had a month to live would you stay with tom dick and harriet and keep going through these same things or would you walk away this is what spirit is saying if you only had a month left and you know you wanted to take that trip you need some me time and some things that you need to do and you've been half stepping because you always feel like i got time i got time would you do them that's exactly what he wants you to think about and this is going to make you win as soon as you start living like that you're going to oh my god i can't even explain it in words how liberating and elevated you're going to feel hopefully you just felt that energy because it's there okay like this is real you're really doing it god is really trying to take you to a different place and for a lot of you guys know these people can't come with you and it's okay for you to take a step back emotional withdrawal and cleanse your energy pray about it sit and spend some time by yourself look who is going to want to sit and spend some time with you if you don't even want to sit and spend some time with you go learn yourself go love on yourself go figure yourself out is it you or are you the problem because these things god wants you to look at okay i'm just saying look i'm just saying i'm just saying you got your inner warrior here and triumph and success over all these obstacles that's that you're worried about it's no need to worry like i said deception and envious people are going to always be there but you know what once you st if you stand your ground you're not you're not confused you're not lost and you're not tricking yourself you're going to see these people and these things for what they are and you're going to be able to maneuver through these problems and situations accordingly because that's just what you meant to do my lovey that's 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 what you meant to do it's going to happen triumph and success is here it's going to happen remember i told you i told you Y'all need to leave these third parties alone. Now, I ain't your mama, but I'm your spiritual um sister from another mister. And I'm here to tell you, baby, leave these people alone. It's holding you back. Why would you want to hold yourself back when there's so many beautiful things that's out here waiting for you? Superior. You're superior to this energy. That's why the enemy keep tricking you into going back, back, and back so you can stay low. Low vibrational, missing the, missing the goal, missing the mark, missing the assignment. What you think the enemy job is to help you get ahead heck no it's to hold you back it's to trick you to trap you to make you stop make you tired make you give up and it will use anybody it can that's why some of your relatives raise up and rise up on you and you looking at them like who the hell are you talking to like what what just happened like <laughs> you're looking like what universe am i in right now because what right this is why it happened because at that point in time, that person was thinking so low vibrational and negative. Boom. They was an open vessel. Boom. The devil said, I'm going to use them. <laughs> I'm going to use their own child. And this going to blow them away. This going to make them depleted. This going to make them defeated. This going to make them stop. This going to make them give up. Don't you dare. That's when you, that's when you need that word I was telling you about. That's when you need to go to the throne and be like, God, I'm going to need all the strength you said belong to me. I'm going to need it all. Okay? Because... <laughs> The devil can't have my children, right? Some of y'all fighting over your marriage like that and your job. The devil not taking nothing from me ever. That's where that that's where the term don't let a rock cry out in your place come in. Cause if you standing right there, able and willing to get the blessings, you know somebody woke up and couldn't walk this morning. Somebody woke up and didn't have hardly no breath in their body. Somebody woke up and realized that yesterday was my last chance to make things right. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? So don't waste too much time on these low vibrational situations and letting letting deceptive, envious people hold you back. Don't let them deplete you. Don't let them suck the life and the life and the love out of you. Okay, protect your peace. 
That's our reading for today. This is our reading for the day. I don't even want to get no tarot cards. But this is our reading for the day, loves. This is where we at with it. Okay? Let's clarify one on each of these cards up here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods, go ahead and lead us out with those verbal even know for their highest good and all who are watching. <sighs> Let's see. This was a beautiful read, y'all. This was so beautiful. I pray that it helped you elevate. I help. I pray that it helped you become more enlightened about the situations that you're facing and what's going on around you. And I thank you guys for all your beautiful comments. Um, you always speak it into me, always praying for me, and I appreciate that. I really do love you guys for that. Thank you so much. Y'all cover me and my family and everything, and I really appreciate that. That's why I'm always praying for you. Well, that's not why. Because I just do it because you need it. Because I know that's what I need to do. But I thank you guys for giving me that energy back. I appreciate it. Alright, y'all. Let me say what I'm looking for. So give me one on superior, please. We got the two of wands making a decision. We got the seven of wands standing your ground. And what do we have for ascension, spirit? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, look, Virgo. <laughs> You got a lot of beautiful things coming up. You do. You got a lot of beautiful things coming up. You got the fulfillment of wishes. You got the sun. Rejoicing celebration. I see the tower. Is this a tower? I see a tower card underneath of that. But I see light. I see light. So keep hope. So, all right. So, Somebody is going to get liberated to the point where they're ending something with somebody that they've been with for a long time. And one thing I want to tell you is once you make this decision and you actually let the tower fall and you, you say what you need to say and use your sword of truth to speak your peace, don't look back and don't feel guilty. All right. Know that God gave you that power for a reason. It, it finally is time for you to do that. It's time for you to walk away. Somebody's going to end something and close out a cycle with somebody from the past. Or somebody that they've been with for a long time, like overstaying their welcome. And it's good. It's going to be good. You see all these good cards, celebration, fulfillment of wishes, staying your ground when it comes to this deception and envy. Because clearly something needs to be said. Whoever it is. It, it could be family, friends, work, love, or life. But it's time for you to stand in your power. With this ascension, you're going to a higher level. With this two of wands, it's time for you to be bold, ambitious, and make the decision. Calculated risk and careful planning. Take the time you need to make the right decision and do what you got to do, okay? That's what this is telling you. But the sun, a very happy outcome. And the three of wands, you feeling empowered, confident, and going to see what else is out there for you. Moving forward. Something beautiful is going to happen. And I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so happy for you guys. You got the sun, the three of wands, the two of wands, the seven of wands. Okay, it's a lot of actions being taken. Um, bravery and courage. It's somebody that definitely is about to take action and make a move. And this is going to be a power move, baby. Because this is the move you need to make this, to shift the atmosphere. Because you're about to open up that atmosphere, honey, and let the blessings flow in. you like, I'm so sick and tired. I feel the energy. It's just like when you pull back your blinds. And finally, let some sunshine in. Let the healing energy in. Let, let the love, the light, and the blessings come back in. Somebody is going to really feel this. All right? And you could even be getting emotional right now because this is what you need to do. I've been there. Like, you got to choose you. That's all you got to do is choose you. Have God with you. Don't, don't think that God not with you. God with you. Whether you smoking, whether you getting drunk, whether you high and on your last leg, whatever. God is still there. And sometimes all you got to do is tap them in. Tap your angels in. Ask for the help you need, okay? And believe to receive. Trust me on that. If I wasn't a witness, I wouldn't be telling you that because, look, I only speak on stuff I know. Okay? <laughs> That's real Virgo stuff. Like, we only going to talk about stuff we know because we confident about that, okay? Look. All right, y'all. I love you so much. If you want to book your reading, you can book it at closer to the number two, my destiny.com, y'all. In the meantime, in between time, love on yourself. Protect your peace. Do not let others kill the love in the life that's inside of you. 
All right, love on each other and talk to me in the comments below. I will see you later, my lovies. I probably will try to tap in later to look at your relationship or see what's up with your personal who's thinking about you, okay? Until then, bye, my lovies.